Good afternoon. My name is Kim Hendricks and welcome to my channel Stalked by the State. This channel dedicated to using the Stalked by the State software to build the best security software possible. Stalked by the State is home and business security software that is powered by YOLO v3 and YOLO v4 triggering. Okay, today we're going to talk about how to map your Stalked by the State device to the outside world. To do this, we're going, I'm going to show you how to get a free dynamic DNS name and, a, and set up free HTTPS uh, auto-renewing certificate with Let's Encrypt. So let's get started. This is my channel, Store Private State. And uh, so when you, so in here we've, we've, we're making the assumption that you've just installed the Store Private State system. Uh, and in the Store Private State system, unlike other software, your main mode of operation is in a read-only mounted file system mode to give you resilience. You can see that you're in this mode by typing the find MNT command and you'll see overlay FS root here at the top. So we're going to make permanent changes and not just ones in memory. So we need to reboot into the read-write mode first. So to do that, we go into the SBTS bin directory and run sudo make read write. And reboot. Okay, if we type the find mnt command now, we can see that we've got a, we don't have the overlay of this device here, and that means that we can make permanent changes. Right, when you've when you've just installed stop by the state, you can access your device by your IP address on port 8080 slash SBTS. Uh, and this is where we are now. But, well, once it's started up. But what we want to do is we want to be able to access that from the outside board. So first thing we need is a dynamic DNS name. So to get that, uh, here's, here's some, here's a, these people here, dynu.com, www.dynu.com. They provide uh, one free dynamic DNS name uh, for non-commercial use. Uh, and the, the dynamic DNS name that you can get to use is compatible with Let's Encrypt certificate generation, which is not always the case, I understand. So create an account by these people, and you're going to need the username and the password for that account uh, for the later steps. So you will create an account, locate the parts where you can um, create your own, uh, choose your own dy free dynamic DNS name and, and get yourself a name. Okay, now, once this is the page, this is the uh, the GitHub where all of the, my software is uh, installed. SBST base, that's what you'll do first when installing the Stalk Brother State, followed by SBST install. And we've just finished that step now, uh, followed by a uh, make read uh, write command and a reboot. And now we're ready to take it further. So, I've prepared templates for most of what you need to do. Once you have got yourself a username and a password by the dynu.com people, you should edit this file, dynuprams.com, and put the username that you cho uh, chose, created, followed by the password here, and then run this command. At that point, you should be able to, if you were to ping uh, that dynamic DNS name that you created, it would be the, uh, the same as what you would get if you were to, what, what your outside IP address is for your, your hosts on your machine. You should make sure that that's the case. The next, this, the other thing you need to do is you need to map in your router port 8080 and port 443 both to your stalk by the state device. You should do this first uh, before the next step because the next step um, uh, requires these ports to be mapped already and that's the step where you obtain the, um, the, the free certificate from Let's Encrypt. So, um, when you install stalk by the state, I generate um, some sample configuration for what the HTTPS 
Apache configuration is going to look like. And I've used this fake domain name here. Um, you should you should replace that uh, with your real domain name. So the command that you would need to do to to get your Let's Encrypt certificate, uh, we can obtain that by here. This is the domain name that I've chosen here, but you'll have a real domain name, of course, but to give by way of example, you would run this command here with the real D dynamic DNS name that you have obtained by the dynu.com people after running that dynuclient.py command and with the username and password set up here so that it's mapped correctly. If you do that, then this will be a little bit like what the interaction looks like. So you run the command with the minus minus Apache and the minus D and your free DNS name. Or if you have your own DNS name, just use your DNS name there. Um, uh, you'll have to agree to the terms and conditions. Um, you can answer yes or no to whether you want your email address to be uh, used by EFF. And then it'll do a challenge, uh, which requires those ports 80 and port 430 to be mapped correctly. And it will generate um, your, your SSH configuration, your configuration for HTTPS for Apache. Now, once you've done that, it will be a functional, your, your HTTPS and your dynamic DNS name will be functional, but in order to use it with Stroke by State, you need some mapping. So you go into this file that I've created by default when you install the software, and everything between the start line and this end line, which is basically this stuff here, you should copy into your actual configuration, your Apache configuration, um, uh, just after the server name part. Now the server name would be set up by Let's Encrypt to be the correct um, server name. Um, so it's just this part down here that you need to put in after there. Actually missed out a step here, so this is a bit sad, but um, it can happen. Um, you should, before you do this, even though we're in, uh, the root file system is in read-write mode, the configuration where the Apache configuration is stored has been migrated to a config directory and you need to make that read-write first. So for that one, you don't need to have, um, you don't run it with remote root access, you just run it as your normal user. And now this config directory will be rewrite here. Otherwise, the let's encrypt command won't work as well. So you do need to do that first um, before you run that um, certbot command. But once you've run that certbot command and you've edited the the um, that template material to your um, Apache config. And you should, by the way, uh, you should change every instance of that this the string that you find here in in this section here. Actually, you don't have it there. You don't have any instances, so that's, that's right. Once you've done that, you then would go back into read-only mode. Well, no, before you do that. You've got to, you should edit your user's cron tab and take away that comment here because that that will allow it to, once a day, update your dynamic GNS. So if you do that for the user's cron tab and also edit the root cron tab and take away the comment in the front too because that will allow it to attempt to um, to renew your certificate once a day as well. So, once you've made those, you've now made all the changes that you need to do in read-only read mode, and you would 
sudo make read only and sudo reboot. And then your system, this will be completely will be completed and you'll be able to access it from the outside world by the domain name that you chose, followed by that special prefix that you'll find here. And then SBTS. Okay. The um, about that special prefix. The special prefix there uh, is generated automatically in the template example when you when you install stop by state, and that's because it's recommended to put um, a non-guessable uh, prefix uh, in front for all of the access to your cameras. This will be your camera URL once you've made those changes. This is for the front, and that's your camera URL for the back, and this is the URL for your main um, stop by the state installation. And what this does is it, it provides, uh, it makes it so that it's, um, it provides you a little bit of more rudimentary protection from CSRF or cross-site request fraud um, attacks. Because if you don't know uh, the URL to your endpoint, it becomes a lot harder to attack it. So I re recommend um, either using the one that's generated, which is different for everyone upon installation or, or creating your own one. But, Perhaps when you're first trying it out, just use the one that's automatically there. Um, and, and, that, and that's it. Your, 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 um, your outside world will be your domain name that you got from your free DNS name with that prefix and SBTS. And um, the uh, cron will take care of automatically updating the certificates and automatically keeping your dynamic DNS um, in order once a day and you can access things securely now so thank you very much for your time don't forget to subscribe and press the like button and see you in the next video